Hello everybody, this is the Android Eyes Gold project, a very new ROM for our Moto E and now we'll be checking out its detailed features and for more features do check the XDA thread given in the description below. After flashing a lot of ROMs, it's clear to all that the features that you get is actually the same in every ROM. But the best part about this one is that it's not 5.0.2, it's not even 5.1, but we are on 5.1.1, the latest and greatest of all Android versions. So starting right out of the lock screen, we have the three shortcuts at the bottom and swipe up to unlock. This is the notification drawer. As you can see, I've added custom colors to the toolkits and icons. You can even add number of icons to the notification drawer. That's up to your wish. But the greatest thing about this is the ROM is actually pretty fluid enough, in my opinion at least. You must try it out and let me know in the comments below. So we have a few handy toolkits. The multi-user support is also present in this ROM. Let's take a look at the status bar. I have actually customized it. I've added the AICP logo, the circle clock with percentage battery percentage inside, the center date, all of these are hidden inside these settings. So inside settings, we have the, let me show you the Android version. It's the 5.1.1 and I Android Eyes Gold project. A quick search button is also there. So if you don't get a element inside this ROM, it's there. Inside various shit. Um, all right, this one is pretty funky enough. Uh, we have the boot animation preview so you can add your own custom boot animation you don't really have to go manually and search for the boot animation in system files so that's good in that case now since it's a rom we do have disable fc notification so that you don't get four stop notifications each and every time inside notification drawer is the place where i actually customize my toolkits and notification drawer From this menu, you can add number of toggles if you want, or even remove the existing ones that were already there. So that was pretty much about the notification drawer. And in status bar, like I said, I've customized the status bar. It's from that option. You can also add RAM bar, which shows you the amount of free RAM left in your device so that you don't have to go to settings and then running processes every time to check your RAM. We have Omni switch for advanced multitasking users. If you don't like the regular multitasking tray, then you can go for it but it's pretty slow and we also have the app circle bar for advanced multitasking and well this does works pretty good but when you are actually scrolling through the app drawer you might as well clash with this gesture we also have gesture anywhere so i'll be opening up the settings just by drawing s on the screen so this is the gesture anywhere and you can add number of gestures if you want. Wake lock blocker to see which apps are actually consuming your battery. Ad blocker will pretty much stop the advertisements from the browsers. Makes sense. You don't need to use any custom device manager like the trickster mod or device control. We have something called the kernel auditor which allows you to handle each and every function of your phone now that the ASCP ROM has gone for an official state you'll be getting the nightlies every time there's a new update we also have the theme engine you can just pop in any themes and enjoy it from the buttons you can actually customize the buttons layout that's the navigation bar down there you can add custom navigation rings and also the navigation buttons and the battery performance so far is so good no complaints on that and if you're not an advanced user of using the kernel auditor you can go to that and set the amount of performance you want one good part about this rom is we have the preferred install location now since moto e is a low-end device with low internal storage that's a beautiful feature which is definitely required in this phone that is pretty much about this ROM. We also have the ambient display for those who want. And this is all about the ROM. Many more ROMs are piled up and coming soon. 
do hit the subscribe button below if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the like button to see more such videos coming up and i'll talk to you guys in the next one Are you ready for the